Hello everyone, I am on the grind. If you watch this video, please consider subscribing so I can get an ego boost. Another update is coming to Realm of Mad God, and let's see what's coming June 7th of 2022. In an overall summary, some new items and quality of life changes are coming, which includes Realm Speed Up, more items entering the UT trading system, third generation STs that are going to be craftable, the horror story campaign, solo keys, bleeding projectile changes, changes to the forge, void event, and supposedly more. The Realm Speed Up change is a massive change to how the game has been played for many years. First of all, Ghost Kings will no longer be a pain in the ass with a 10 minute wait period, which is absolutely wonderful. In addition to this, Ents and Liches will exist less, which means uh, that will save a lot of time as it was reduced by about 50%. However, if you really want the drops from these enemies, the drop rates will be buffed. They are also making it a 25% chance to get an event boss after a hero of orcs is killed along with the ability for these events to show up twice. This means you can now get two hermits, Lord of the Lost Lands, and sphinxes in one realm. There's also a slight change for some bosses like reduced HP, defense, and nest spawns. For UT trading, here's a list of everything that's becoming tradable. I'm not reading all of these off, but asses can be traded, so after June 7th, if you're lacking one, you can just buy one. Anyways, the new ST system. So STs have a few generations and they will be given an icon to represent which generation it's from. The first generation are legacy STs that can no longer be dropped. The second is the new version of the legacy STs that are soulbound. The third ST generation is from the forge which also introduces mythical material for ST items. However, you will also need mythical set tokens to actually be able to forge these items. Do we know where these drop from yet? Nope, not entirely. It just says that they will drop from dungeons. Uh, the items that are being released are also going to be released in three different phases. That's about it for the new STs. And on to everyone's favorite activity, which is the campaigns. This is probably also pay to win though, so um, we're not going to go into this as we're broke. Moving on, solo keys are being added. If you really don't have any friends and want some more loot since you play by yourself anyways, you can just do solo keys. In Phase 1 and 2, only Lost Halls, Thicket, Crystal Cavern, and High Tech Terrors will have solo keys. Only issue for me is that I can't solo any of these, but they do drop Mystical ST Gems. You can just obtain these from Daily Quest free packs and uh, summon the shop every single week. That was everything for Phase 1, I think, and then there's Phase 2, which lasts from June 21st to July 11th, where you can buy keys that give Mystical ST crates. Phase 3 starts July 12th, and they decided to include that they are not selling tokens directly in any way nor third gen STs. Thank you Deca for not making the game directly pay to win, it requires some skill at least to obtain some items. If anyone actually cares about the bleeding effect, here you go. The 4G is being changed to organize categories like, uh, kind of like the vault. There are going to be tabs that show you the STs, UTs, and also the useless stuff. Some other things that are being added to the forge are like filters and the ability to search for a specific blueprint. Now, some juicy information on the Forge. They're not completely removing marks for Forge, as some may st still need it. However, some UT items will require sacrificing another white bag from the same dungeon to craft it. As of my knowledge, uh, Fungal and Crystal Cavern can be used to forge each other. Lost Halls, Cultist Hideout, and Void can be used interchangeably as well. For now, the uh, only the good items have the icons that sort out which is which, uh, and every single item from one of these top level dungeons will need an item from its dungeon to craft. Here's the pictures for the icons and they overall look really good. Blueprints will also serve as a replacement for the white bags as they have icons from the respective dungeon drop, although you can still only use one, um, but it does reduce your forge fire, so that's still pretty great. Finally, there's a Void event that is 1.5 times loot and XP. In the realm, you can find Void Heralds that spawn in two remnants of the Void next to it. This is the same Void boss, but much weaker. This will drop Void Catalyst that can be traded into the items shown here on the screen. You can get a Void Bow and a Void Bow Blueprint, which is pretty cool. And if you did enough Voids, you can also pick up some skins. Some other events that are quite useless as they're all 1.5 XP and loot but they do have a chance to drop a Remnant of the Void portal. Each Remnant of the Void boss should give one Void Catalyst. Thank you all for coming to my TED Talk, and 
see you next time